I had this feeling that um, I needed to be uh, criticized almost. Like I was finding this is kind of, and I was getting some things that I liked, but I, you know, I really wasn't sure about it. And I, I kind of felt I needed someone to tell me that it wasn't good, you know? So I needed this critical feedback. I knew there was something like that out there, but I didn't really know where it was. So I started, I found like, there was one particular group I found on, I think on Flickr, um, that where, where people were really harsh with their photography. And I, I found that really interesting. So, um, you know, you'd, you'd submit a photo and then everyone would come back to you and give you comments. And then I realized, you know, put a few photos in, I got a few negative criticism. I was like, yeah, that really makes sense. So then that kind of went up a level then when um, I look, started looking into studying photography. So I was living in, in Paris at the time and I guess getting into photography in Paris is quite tricky. Um, you know, it's, it's, um, it feels a little, especially when you're starting out, it's quite a kind of closed world. And I felt that the only way someone would take me seriously, whether it's true or not, was to, um, to study it. Um, and uh, you know, the UK has a lot of options in terms of studying photography. Um, so it was as much about um, you know, learning about the theory, but also just entering a, a kind of a gateway into the, to the world of photography. That was the only way I could really, s like, I, you know, I, I'm sure it probably would have been possible to get into the world in other ways, but um, this was very clear and structured and I knew I'd be committing, it for, committing to it for two years. And uh, I think in hindsight, yeah, it was, it was a good way of, because I already had a project in mind and this, this MA allowed me just to, to make the work within a, a kind of a structure where I could get advice as I was going through it. That was when I moved to the stage of finding a way of making st strong work and um, expressing ideas in a, an interesting way. From about 2005 to 2008, uh, things were, were very good in Ireland. I stayed in uh, Brussels for most of that period, but I do remember returning to Ireland and um, it, was a, yeah, it, was a, it was a really interesting time. Um, um, and it just, at the time it felt like everything was possible, you know, there was an incredible confidence um, to Irish people at that time. Uh, maybe a little bit of naivety too, but, um, but then obviously that, uh, that, that kind of all disappeared in 2008. You could really feel it before the crash, you could really feel it walking around the city centre and things like that. There was, um, yeah, just a kind of a swagger and, uh, uh, you know, uh, the city felt more, yeah, much more confident. But, um, yeah, so since then in Ireland, it's, there's been a huge amount of uh, work made about that cr that's the subsequent cra crash, you know, um, in photography. So there was an awful lot of um, work made about um, ghost estates. So these were estates that were developed during the, the good times and then abandoned. Um, but also in, in, in literature and, and uh, you know, Rob Dyle's um, here, The Young Men is a good example um, of these kind of teenagers who felt completely alienated. Um, coming, coming out of school at, at that age into this world where in theory there were a lot of opportunities. Um, and uh, yeah, it's, it's one of those things where there's, there's, a lot of, there's a lot of work out there and I, I think it'll be really interesting to come back to it in maybe 10 or 15 years, you know, when we've really moved on. Um, now, it, it, uh, to, to a point of, especially in, in photography, at one stage it almost felt like there was too much work being made. But at the same time, it was such a huge shock and it affected everybody's lives. So, you know, there was a, a requirement, I think, for, for people to just find different ways of looking at that, for sure. When I'm, when I'm, when I'm photographing spaces, I'm, I'm interested in the, the, you know, the, the history that's, that's formed that, 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 that space and, how, and whether those layers of history, of economic history, uh, um, even, or political history, whether we can sort of see those layers in the in the buildings and in the surfaces um, and so you know with for example uh, 50 high seasons um, you know the the towns that were built um, as part of that project La Mission Racine um, they look a certain way today and 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 um, they work they look that way because of the economic or political decisions that were taken um, over time and um, in the time I've been visiting the area, so that's from 2005 up to now, and there was a period in France, I think, between 2005 up to about 2012, where it did feel like things were starting to look a little raggedy and um, um, the place needed a little bit of work. Um, but now, because I've been shooting it for five years, I've, I've started to notice that um, they've been doing quite a lot of work in the area, and I'm seeing kind of walls are a different colour and things like that. And um, 
and they've been kind of um, improving it a little bit. And you can kind of see that in some of the, the more recent photos. So you can see here, that this one is, you can see that this been, has been let go a little bit, but the kind of yellow and pinks there, that's, that's, a, that's a new, um, that's very recently been done, you know, and, um, and that's the, the, the interesting thing about shooting at a place over a long period. You can see these um, layers and these, um, these trends, these economic trends. I've shot on uh, film for many years and I recently went back to digital in the last two years. And um, as a result, I've been taking a lot more photos. And that idea of coming new to a city, a new city you've never been to, and that, you know, just that visual overload that you experience where you're just seeing these spaces for a new time, for, a first, for the first time. Um, I've, that I've, I find that really interesting. But you can end up making work that's a little bit, um, um, you know, it's, it's been done before. So I think going to cities that are um, less, you know, kind of um, less obvious for art photographers and, and trying to uh, find a way of, of making it interesting, especially cities that are kind of closed in and narrow where everything's, or like even, for example, the center of Paris where everything is really ornate and we've seen Cartier-Bresson's photos and it's, there's really strong references, but actually going in there with like, a, you know, some sort of a, a crazy flash or something, you know, just something, trying to find a new way of, I think that's a, an interesting challenge. I'd love to, you know, make something big in the US, you know, the, um, you know, with the road trip tradition and all that. Um, I'd, I'd really like to spend, put a good few years into making work in, in the US one day, just because of the challenge again of, and just what's happened there maybe the last five to 10 years um, economically and um, trying to, to, you know, bring that to life in the, in the photos.